Hi, and welcome to my audio commentary for Owl Project Part 2. So, I'm going to be talking a little bit about the piece that I've been working on. This is Part 2 of my Owl Project. I guess the aim of the project was to take something that I really wasn't happy with and keep going with it, which is something a lot of artists go through. You're working on something and you really don't like it and you just want to kind of toss it in the junk pile. But I'm learning later in my art career that I learn a lot from those projects and whether I end up with something I end up showing or selling or whatnot is a completely different thing but it pushes me to see what I can learn out of something that I don't like so this project was dually difficult in different ways Um, one of the things that was hard about it was first of all doing this as a YouTube video but I thought that's why it was important so I'm glad I did it Um, the main thing on this was um, when I've never recorded myself working on art um, it kind of makes you nervous it's weird because I'm not really a nervous person but when you know you're being recorded there's a little bit of like a timidness at the beginning in part one Um, so part two I focused on just going in this direction. I didn't really know what I was doing, but I wanted to do more purple tones um, in the painting. It's done in acrylic. Um, I show at the beginning of the video, it's really short. I was using trackle brushes, which I'm a big fan of. They're, I don't know that you would say they're new, but they haven't been around that long, and I really, really like their brushes. And I'm using a Liquitex uh, medium called... Uh, I believe it's slow dry I'll link if I'm incorrect um, to the product in the video but it allows your paints to take a longer time to dry and also kind of thins them out a little bit so they're a little bit easier to work with which I layer a lot as you can see in the video so that works for me um, I had a really fun time doing this originally this owl was actually inspired by the owl um, in Blade Runner and that's why it had the more golden tones and then I kind of realized I just wanted to do something a little bit different so I painted it white and went over it um, I think that the process of painting is I don't know exactly how it is for other people but for me a lot of times I end up doing that because I don't know, I like the idea of it being organic and something turning into something else if it needs to be that, rather than planning things out. I'm, I think planned out projects go a lot faster and really work for things like commissions and, you know, projects that are dependent on others or others are depending on. But for the practice of painting, especially when you don't have the luxury of being able to just buy canvases as, as much as you want. Um, I kind of like this process. I do feel like, like I said earlier, it teaches me something. Um, my favorite part about the project was the eyes and how they looked before. I felt like they didn't really look that realistic. So there's more of a realistic um, look to them in this third, I guess you would say it's a third version of this owl. Um, I've never painted a bird before, so figuring out those textures was interesting. I still feel like I need more practice in that, but it's something I'll probably do a different painting. I'll probably do in a different painting. Um, it is really fun, um, to do because when you look at anything, you abstract it, it's no longer feathers, it's just shapes. And so learning how to recreate that texture on a 2D surface is really interesting uh, process. And if you paint, I recommend that you try to paint something other than what you normally paint. Um, my work is normally figural, but it's like, you, you know, people, uh, you can go on my website and check it out. Uh, doing a bird is something totally different than what I normally do. 
which is part of why I did it. Um, so yeah, uh, hopefully you like this video. <laughs> there will be more. I apologize for all the jumps. I have never recorded a video of really anything for YouTube. So I was doing things to a few different things that I have never shown anyone before and um, having to edit all these different pieces together. There were a lot of times where I didn't even want to upload it, but I figured that I should follow through. Um, the castle in the background is sort of a, a light reference to the Emerald City in Oz. I don't know why I put that there exactly, I just liked it. Um, I'm also not, I don't normally work in acrylic, I tend to work in oils more. And so recently over the past few months, I did a project, I can't really remember what project it was recently, that was acrylics. Um, and it made me think that I should go back and explore doing acrylics with mediums. And I've really enjoyed it. This is my finished piece. Hopefully you like it. If you do, please like the video and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.